Okay, Nissan Turano, and uh, we've had a problem with the uh, CV boot breaking now. When you um, take it to pieces, you take the bottom ball joint off, which is down around here. And there she is, with the four nuts and bolts. Now, you jack it up to the full extent near enough before she lifts off of her stands. There, and you jack her right up. Um, and then you undo these two, the ones nearest the ball joint, these two first. And then you'll see you can pull them out. You. You can't pull them out um, if the uh, wheel is just left slack and down the bottom here. So I jacked her up. You remove these two here. And then you can let her down and undo the other two there. Um, and then you can, uh, you leave the steering joint on and fully steer the steering um, to, what would it be now? I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, you'd have to fully steer the steering uh, left hand down. And when the wheels, as it were, pointing out this way, you undo, and this is after you've undone the bottom, um, the, the bottom ball joint bracket. You then have, let me just get this, you then have this little cap here, which goes on there, which you have to just get something in behind it and prise it, tap it, prise it off. And then you've got this little clip here, which you need. Um, let me just try and focus it there a bit more. Uh, you'll need a set of serial clip pliers. Pop that serial clip off, and that's all that holds the actual um, spline shaft. And just pull, and then you can pull. I'll just pop that back on there. See my hand. Once it's let down, obviously the jack's out of the way. You can then pull this right out and round that way, and you'll be able to pull the spline shaft down. Now, I found it very hard to, um, or I didn't. I didn't actually remove the. Uh, the constant velocity joint I didn't actually remove it because I couldn't it was too hard it would not give in and the last one on the other side of the car I broke and I had to buy a new one so this time I bought this nifty little kit with a cone which you slip over the CV joint with this uh, rubber uh, cover dust cover slid down this cone and then you just make sure you put it on with the small end first obviously and then it pops off over this whole thing and then it's on the shaft and all you've got to do is clamp it up fantastic really easy recommend it. it's lucas that does it um and they're like uh very s soft rubbery things but i mean you can see that it's the usual CV joint and uh, very quick and easy and you don't have to remove the velocity joint from the drive shaft which is great because like I said on the other side I broke it because they've got a they have actually got inside a small clip ring which you supposedly um, basically put a fork behind the CV joint either tap it hard and it'll come off or you pull them off um, with a slide hammer and neither worked. I set, I tried different uh, ideas, none of it worked. So I got this neat little kit 
and then popped it on there. So there you go, job's done. I just got to put a couple of um, nuts on there and do up and put the little cap tapping back on. Uh, that little cap there, just tapping back over. He's got a little O-ring that seals him. He stays on there. Put the wheel back on and off we go again. But yeah, there we go. Okay, good luck.